Neko, 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 neko. Hello, welcome to my Lucky Cat Origami Lessons. This is part two of the base. And you all should have got to this stage. So it's two tight triangles and squares, sorry. And the back looks like this with a square tied in like that. I will make again another one with a different color so that you can see it a second time. So from here, what we're going to do is fold it in half as if you're closing the door. Fold this so, so it's like closing two doors to the center. Okay, now we're going to fold this and you can see where you've previously made a line faintly on top and yes it will fit on top of the other ones and this one fits on top there like so and the way we're going to have this all holding together is we're going to, so let's start again. We had done up to here. We fold it in half like so, then half like so. We should all have this. Now, this little corner, I'm going to tuck underneath there. Next corner. And fold that in and tuck that under. This corner will go underneath there, tuck it in. And this last one, fold the paper, try and fit it in. So you end up with um, like a flower petal on top. Now you're going to take the corner in the middle that's opposite the corner on the big triangle. There's the big triangle, a uh, big square. Sorry, big square. Go to the center, take the opposite corner, all the little bits that you see there, just fold them over and do this all the way around, like so. And they're not going to be all perfectly fitted. They might have some that look all different corners. That's okay. Okay, and then what we do with this, the tricky bit is you're going to put your finger underneath to have a bit of a pocket space and simply roll that under. Now, it is a bit tricky, but you should be able to fold all that in like so. Try the next one. And fold this one under as well. that last one so you do have to open a little bit like a little pocket and just fold that back inside there and press it all down and believe it or not that's your vase or vase done now the hardest bit is to open it without breaking the paper so on the back it's the front, it's back, the bottom of the vase. You're going to try and pull this little square up. And then slowly you will roll this out. And you will roll this out. And then you roll this out. 
and we keep slowly rolling, pulling the edges out. If you do it too fast, you might lose the shape. And if you do tear the paper around here, uh, but that's all right. With more practice, you will get better. I taught it a few times when I first started, and that's it. Here's your vase. Ta-da! And the flower pens we did earlier can go in there. And that's the other view of us. Well done. Good luck. Try another one. So what I'm going to do is put this aside and I will do it again with a bigger piece of paper and go through the steps again. Alright, so part one. We start off with the white side. We fold this in half so we get a rectangle. We have to get thirds. So you can take a ruler, measure, and divide into thirds. I'm just going to do it in a quick way. Fold it to that there. I've made my three marks. And then I go like so. And then I make sure it doesn't go over the edge. And I have my one, two, three. Turn it around. Now if you want to do a bit of mats, if you got six, half is three. And if I go to this link here, I've got two left outside, so that should give me four sixths. Two out of four. So if I've got four left, I should have two, two. I can break that two in half. There's my two. And now I fold this in half. And I get my other two. Two, four, six. Two and two gives you half. And then the other two gives you the third. Actually, I could do these formats in my lessons with fractions. Turn it over. Fold it in half. Match the corners. So you only have to do once this one third business. Again, you can use your ruler and measure. Um, if you've done this if you've done as much origami as I have, you'd probably feel comfortable doing this method. If not, please use a ruler. And there you are. One, two, three. And now I'm going to turn it around. If I imagine these two are gone, I should have four, four sixths. So if I break this in half, four cut in half gives me two and two. So there's my mats. And then in half. Huh? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I can see all the lines. Yep. Now, I need to go around the edges in half. see smaller squares here rectangles actually this and this is a big square so it means I have to go in half the skin as well okay so from here I always remember that I have to do this middle one in little lines so So if you think about it like this, okay, you've got this rectangle, a square, and now I've got to split this in half along there. One easy way to do is if I split that in half, this ridge needs to be on top of that. But you will notice that if I don't worry about matching them, I take the top edge to the folded line where I have the rectangles and that cuts that in half and that again is got to do with fractions so turn it around and go all the way up to not that one but the second fold so go up to there Match it and then slide. You have to do this four times. I'm looking for where's that edge? This one, two, so I want to match it up to there and fold. All this preparation beforehand is necessary to make this shape. We have lots of more modern complicated origami where it's all about pre-folding okay so if you can see all the lines you've got smaller squares inside here you've got a bigger square inside there one two three four so what you want is to go to the middle of your paper you cannot see it, fold it in half, there's the middle, but the vase cannot sit on the ridge, There's, it will not, it will tip. So you go and go to the next folding line, and one folding line, and those two lines will be the base of your vase, and it will stand up from here. So if you can get this, that will be awesome. And now what you do, put one side down, lift this folded over like so, and look for the first fold. There is the first, from this edge to this, that's the first fold. You're simply going to fold back on that. And if you're not sure what it should be, if you look in the middle of this fold, you will go in the middle of okay. So, you bring this over, but first fold again. It's a bit hard to see, then you finger over it to push, and you fold back. And you will notice that you've got this opening and closing. Now, OK, 
holding it with shaking. There we are. So you should have this. Okay, now turn it around and we have to do the same. So I can see that's the middle line. And if I lift these two up, they're the same height. And it's sitting on a base. Those are the two sides I have to fold. So which side do we choose to do? Let's put this down and we'll fold this one like so. And again, look for that fold. And you can also check along here that it goes on a straight line and then over there. Now, that one, there's that fold. If you cannot get it exact, that's all right. Got it up against here and just press here. There you are. So this is the odd looking sculpture, like so. Beautiful. Now we turn it over and we fold these little corners in and they should fit inside that triangle. Um, the triangle should fit inside the square. So you can see like this. So it's not very exact. They don't meet. If you want to be more exact and have them meet, that's fine. Open it. And now we do the big mouth where we open and we push them towards the center. This is what we did when we did the flower and then we leave it as that. Now we go around and we do that to all four corners. You see how it looks a bit that way? That's okay. We've got this. Now we turn it over. And now we fold the cupboard doors if you want to think about it that way. And they're not quite even. Like this is a bit imperfect, but that's okay. Now bring the down. Bring this top down. And I'm going to make it very simple here. Tuck that in. Tuck that in, there you are. Now we just have to put this corners. Oh, 
like I said, they don't always match. And now, if you could open up the pocket and put them inside, roll them over, put them in the pocket. Um, there you are, the vase. Now we just have to open it carefully. So. Just the edge. Mm. That's the house. Again. Okay. Good luck.